Hallelujah. John 16, 24 said, Hitherto, amen, have ye asked nothing in my name, but ask and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. Amen, hallelujah. There's a lot of people in the house, amen, all across this land. Amen, hallelujah, they've lost their joy. Amen, they've lost their peace. They've lost their victory. Amen, they've lost their shout. They've lost their dance. Amen, and they're losing their hope. Amen, but I'm here to tell you, amen, as long as we have that bread of life, amen, we ain't got to lose nothing. Amen, because he'll keep pouring out. He'll keep giving. He'll keep sustaining. Amen, he'll put the dance back in your feet. Amen, he'll put the shout back in your legs. Amen, heaven, my God, we lift up those holy hands Hey, Amen. My God, He just keeps on giving and giving. Amen. To our, my God, till we get satisfied. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, my, my. Oh, Hallelujah. There's not a stopping place. Hey, Amen. You can't get too full. Hey, Amen. We got a bunch of people. Amen. I hate to, I hate to put an example like this. Amen. But you see all the commercials. The Ethiopians, how disturbing they are. Amen. Spiritually, there's churches across this land. Amen. If we could just see them through the eyes of God. Amen. Spiritually, they're starving. Amen. They're set and dried up. Amen. Because somewhere along the way, Amen. They left out. Amen. Their bread box and they got stale. Amen. The bread didn't go nowhere. The bread didn't dry up. The bread didn't run. But what was carrying the bread? Amen. And I got stagnated because he quit moving forward. Amen. Praise God. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. As you cross over, amen, as we was on our way over here, we've got a big river close to the house of Tennessee. Amen. But as you cross the Mississippi, amen, that's one of the supposed to be the biggest rivers they are. Amen. And it's got, they had so many sayings and been songs wrote about it. Amen. The mighty Mississippi. Amen. Uh -huh. Because it's supposed to be so powerful, so big, it got so much force behind it. But I'm gonna tell you what: if the ships ever stop going through there, Amen. They was to quit trying to keep it clean. Amen. There come a time when there'd be enough dead stuff. Amen. To start drifting, and it to start. My God, if it ever lost its movement forward, if it ever got to a place to where it quit moving, I mean, you know, that's when things, dead things, begin to come around, and it begin. The mock, amen. What's flowing? Amen. There have been a lot of dead things coming into the church world. Yeah. And it's trying to stop the flowing yeah. of the anointing of God. Yeah. Amen. But I'm telling you, if we'll reach in there and we'll grab a hold of that bread that we got, and we'll begin to clear out everything else and say, God, I don't want to let my bread basket get stale. I want to eat from that bread now. It's coming down from heaven. I want to grab a hold of that bread slice every day. When I get up and hit the floor, God renew me in a right spirit, oh God. Amen. Yeah. We'll begin to get the dead things out of the way. Yeah. Hallelujah. Free. My God Free. has no stagnated things. And then there's a, there's a river close to right. Actually, we're real close to my mom's house. Amen. Probably about 75, 100 yards. There's a tongue bippy river going through Mississippi there. Amen. But you know what? Up in the sloughs up in the back parts. Amen. You can get out there and you can check it out. Every once in a while that driftwood will start to come up. Amen. And this uh, uh, twigs and stuff will start coming up there. Amen. And then begin to block what was flowing. Then it pour long. If it ain't moved. Amen. And it's left tidal for so long. Amen. And begin stagnating. Yes. Amen. There'll be all kind of insects yes. and bugs. Amen. And stinking things. Amen. And be drowned. The draw to that. You know what? When we my God. When we don't keep that bread. Amen. Every morning. Every day in our yes. life. Before long. Yes. There'll be dead things starting to attract to us. Amen. And hallelujah. And we need a resurrection sometime in our life. Amen. Yes. Because those no dead things of the world. Amen. They begin to creep on us. And they will try to get us stagnated. Amen. Our spiritual man will begin to lose out. Amen. We'll begin to lose that joy. We'll begin to lose our victory. We'll begin to lose that peace. Amen. We won't be able to lay our head down at night and have a restful sleep. Amen. But I'm telling you what, that praise man of the high. Amen. And he said this, my God, this is the bread. This is the matter. It ain't what your forefathers had. And they died with. Hey Amen. But he was trying to show them I can give you something that you can live by. Yes. I can give you something you can grow by. Yes. And he told the woman at the well, he said, if you only knew 
Mm -hmm. We need to go back to the well. Mm -hmm. thank yes. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to start going back oh. and say, God, I need another drink. Mm -hmm. Amen. I need another piece of that bread. Yes. I need something to renew me. My God, and sometimes we just have to admit, God, I've gotten to a place, amen, that I, I just don't feel what I used to feel. Uh -huh. Amen, but how many knows we can meet Him at an old-fashioned altar? Uh -huh. Amen, we can get down to a place, amen, wherever you want to make it at. Amen, on the side of the road, in your house, in your automobile, amen, in the middle of the woods, and you begin to cry out and say, God, I don't like where I'm at. I don't like this situation. I don't like what I feel. And God renew me. My God made me a new creature in you. God bring a man and death from heaven. I need a fresh peace today. My God, hallelujah. That water is flowing still today. Amen. I said it's still flowing today. Amen. That well is never going to run dry. My God, we got to be willing to reach out and start dipping and start dipping and say, God, I'm coming back for another drink. I'm coming back for some more. My God, I need it. I got a thirst that I can't quench without the blessing of God. point that nothing else will quench that thirst. Uh -huh. Amen. Of our soul. Uh -huh. This world is seeking after something uh -huh. and they don't know where to find it. That's right. Amen. They're wasting their money. They're throwing money and I'm not saying it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not preaching against hobbies. Amen. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. I'm preaching against pro uh, your priorities. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on. I said I'm against priorities when it ain't lined up. That's right. Amen. But people throw away thousands and thousands of dollars every year. Amen. Seeking after something that's going to fill a void. Seeking after something that's going to make them happy. Amen. But I'm going to tell you what. It don't cost you nothing. Yeah, if you need to pay tithes, you need to pay offerings. But I'm going to tell you what. To go make that trip to the altar, it don't cost you a dime. Amen. Yeah. To reach today and get what you need from God, it don't cost you a dime. Yeah. Amen. To get something that's going to start you out and it's going to keep you. And it's my God it's going to lead you. It don't cost you a dime. And people spend their money trying to look for it. And they can't find it nowhere else. It ain't in the bottom of a bottle. Amen. It's not in a pill bottle. Amen. It's not in a joint. It's not in a needle. But it's all through the blood of Jesus Christ. And shed on Calvary. That's still flowing today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. But our friend boss. Come they come stand. Oh, Amen. Hallelujah. 